Incidents in the Life of a Slave Girl by Harriet Jacobs. Introduction Since ancient times the virtuousness and morality were the main qualities of a woman despite her age and race. Society supposed that a woman should follow strict moral rules which determined and guided her behavior and actions. Religion clearly stipulated good and wrong behavior patterns, goodness and sins, virtue and misdeeds. Thus, slaves and slave women were always seen as non-humans who did not understand and follow religious values and were virtuous. Harriet Jacobs portrays that a slave black woman can be virtuous because of her inner strength and the strict religious beliefs she follows all her life. Discussion Christianity played a crucial role in the lives of all women and determined their values and morals. Christianity and the church were a strong force that dictated social norms and social order. Gender differences are evident in the following description of Christian values. If a man goes to the communion table and pays money into the treasury of the church, no matter if it be the price of blood, he is called religious. If a pastor has offspring by a woman, not his wife, the church dismiss him if she is a white woman, but if she is colored, it does not hinder his continuing to be their good shepherd. The viciousness of slave women was expressed in their ability to endure suffering and emotional pain, oppression, and discrimination because of race and gender differences. Through the character of Aunt Martha, Jacobs portrays that if the Christian soul lives by faith, this faith is nurtured by the experience of Christian love. In light of modern views of history, the traditions thus identified do not constitute a sufficient and comprehensive tool for the establishment of doctrine. Despite differences between black and white women, slave women were virtuous trying to preserve natural beauty and faith in their souls. The causes of women's oppression were based on religious dogmas and traditions which played a crucial role in their communities. Linda and Aunt Martha are virtuous women who value family relations and their children despite life grievances and troubles. Linda suffers greatly because of oppression and cruelty thus she does not change. The point is that stereotypes of gender, masculinity and femininity have consequences for the difference between men's and women's experiences in, for example, work and exercising power. She depicts that women are the most unprotected category which experiences violence within the institution of marriage and slavery. Slavery is terrible for men, but it is far more terrible for women. Through the character of Linda, Harriet Jacobs depicts that sexual abuse and physical violence are the main forms of humiliation and oppression. Sexual abuse of a slave woman is the expression of a male's power and dominance of the owner. Jacobs describes that socially slave women are used to being oppressed. They have no right to protect their dignity and freedom used to cultural norms followed by generations. But I do earnestly desire to arouse the women of the North to a realizing sense of the condition of two millions of women at the South, still in bondage, suffering what I suffered, and most of them far worse. Jacobs portrays that virtuousness means much more for a slave woman influenced by inhuman treatment and exploitation. For a slave woman, virtuousness means goodness and righteousness, probity and morality. Both Linda and Aunt Martha meet these principles and do not violate the main religious norms based on ideas of rectitude and decency. The main principles of virtuousness are associated with childbearing, childrearing, emotional caretaking, and responsibility. In the book, Jacobs proves that Linda is a good mother who does everything possible to save her children and keep their family. This gender labeling is strong and even when women work, they typically do so in areas regarded as women's work. Also, women are considered of no value unless they continually increase their owner's stock. They are put on a par with animals. Labor markets are thus segregated horizontally by gender, with women and men differentiated in occupational roles. Jacobs portrays the situation when Linda meets her daughter. You take no notice of the other girl, said my friend. I turned, and there stood my Ellen. I pressed her to my heart, then held her away from me to take a look at her. She had changed a good deal in the two years since I parted from her. This episode portrays that slave women have the same qualities as white women and can feel more deeply than white females. Lack of respect towards women results in norms and values that reflect gender roles, but it does not mean that slave women were deprived of virtuousness and moral values. Conclusion 
In sum, slavery was a crucial and difficult period for black women deprived of human rights and the ability to be happy, thus they preserved ideas of morality and goodness which helped them to survive. During the period of slavery, social roles determined family relations resulting in the low status of black women and dominance of whites. Despite sexual and physical abuse, black women followed principles of rectitude and decency.